As you know, this past weekend I went down to the beach. Well, the beach has many delights, as we know. But one of my favorite things is I found out that they had a Yankee Candle outlet. Now, we've only got two Yankee Candle stores, I think, in the entire state. We did have three, and one of them, unfortunately, shut down. Um, we have a regular store up towards the Birmingham area. And then in South Alabama, at the Tanger Outlets, or Tanger, however you say it, uh, there is a Yankee Candle outlet. I have never been to an outlet before, and oh my, is it dangerous. So I have a little mini haul I wanted to share with you. I am a candle freak, but I never can really afford candles. So this is a treat for me. And I have gotten to where I love lighting candles more than anything because it's the whole the whole satisfaction of setting something on fire. <laughs> I love the flame. I love setting things on fire. And I actually love the smoke when I blow them out, even though it makes my dog sneeze. <laughs> but I was also given a wax warmer for my birthday a couple years ago, and I keep it beside me on the couch, and I use it almost every day. And then I have another wax warmer um, that I just put in the bathroom. It goes back and forth from my sewing room to the bathroom, whichever area of the house I'm in the most. That doesn't sound right. Not that I'm spending a lot of time in the bathroom, but when, when it turns on, it makes the whole room smell, the, the bedroom smell good. Anyway, I digress. So the first thing that I got, basically I got a bunch of votives and I got a bunch of uh, wax melts. I did get one actual burning candle, but I'm going to save it for last because it's my absolute favorite. So, let's see. I got sugared peach. I can't really say... This smells like a really good peach, but I can't... It doesn't smell like peach pie because there's no bread element in it. Maybe I do smell a hint of sugar, but not, it's like on the picture on it has got a picture of a peach rolled in sugar, which who would do that? What it smells like, what it reminds me of is if you were going to macerate some peaches for perhaps a pie. Um, maceration is when you put sugar on fruit like when you put it on strawberries and you set it in the fridge for a while and it kind of makes its own syrup like if you're going to make strawberry shortcake or something so this reminds me of almost mass not quite macerated but when freshly when you first put the sugar on there maybe it's been sitting for about 20 minutes but not not long enough to make its own juice right so that's what that reminds me of. It's a very nice summer smell. I am from Alabama, and Alabama, as well as Georgia, is known for their peaches. So this is kind of a this is kind of a homey smell to me. So I had to get this one. I like that. By the way, the outlet prices were freaking ridiculous, y'all. Like these were all the wax tarts and all the votives were 99 cents. I spent $22 there and I saved 28. You can't beat that with a stick. Okay, now as far as describing what the scents are, I'm going to do my best. I am not a uh, candle expert. I am not a smelling expert. How do you... I am not... I am not a wizard of the olfactory senses. But I know who is. There is a channel, and I will put a link down below, this guy named Shane Carlson is amazing he's like an encyclopedia of smells he's like the scent doctor he can smell a candle and tell you everything that's in it all the high notes and the low notes and i mean this guy is amazing so if you're a candle person and you love candle scents and you're like i really want to know about this kind of candle he does candle reviews all the time and I will put a link to his channel because he is a maze balls. Okay, now this is a tart. This is fresh mint. And it smells like mint, really. 
But the reason why we got this one is for Matt's sinuses. When he's having a really bad plugged up sinus day, I have heard through the grapevine that burning the fresh mint will help your sinuses. And I'm not, I don't like a lot of really strong eucalyptus. So this would be better for me if he was burning this instead or melting this instead of eucalyptus, straight eucalyptus. This smells like, you think when you think like fresh mint that you would think mint gum or something. And there's a little bit there, but not much. I've got actual wild, I, well not wild, I've got actual spearmint growing in my garden. And if I take their leaves and I crush them and roll them and inhale them, that's what this smells like. And I love spearmint more than any of the other mints. And this smells more like spearmint than it does like peppermint or anything else in the mint family to me. This was more spearmint, um, according to my nostrils. So that's the fresh mint. I got, my goodness, you're helping. I got Island Getaway. You know, when I picked this up and I smelled it in the store, I couldn't automatically place Shane would be able to tell you what the notes are in this. I can't describe this one accurately, I don't think. I do smell a little bit of something that would remind you of going to the beach, but not a whole, it's not a suntan lotion-y smelling or anything. Perhaps there's some coconut and a little bit of fruit and a little bit of floral. But I can't place it. It doesn't smell like water, which is good because I'm not particularly fond of water type scents because to me they've got more of a masculine cologne smell and I don't like that. But this smells fresh. It makes me feel like if I close my eyes and I smell it, it makes me feel like I'm on vacation. That fresh smell, maybe you went and you swam in the ocean and you came back and you you took a shower and you could smell maybe some wild floral in the air mixed with what you would consider a beach smell. There is a little bit of some kind of a coconut or something there, but it's not overpowering. It's very light. It's a very clean scent. I'm actually really looking forward to uh, seeing how that one does. This one I had to get, this is their, uh, this is Sun Drenched Apricot Rose. This is a new scent for this year, I believe, um, from Yankee Candle. And if, if you want this described perfectly, go to Shane's channel. It's the Candle Enthusiast, by the way. Um, but it literally smells like rose but not an overpowering, not grandma, not grandma, you know, talcum powder, overdone. It's not a Victorian rose smell. It's a fresh, I have walked into maybe the rose section of the botanical gardens, not to where it's heavy, but just a light smell. Maybe you're getting into, you know, some roses have a lot of smell and some roses don't. So... The, the headier tea roses are on this spectrum and you're kind of in the middle with stone fruit. It says apricot. I'm not, I don't eat a lot of fresh apricots, but I am getting a stone fruit, almost a peachy smell. So this is one of the most delightful. Okay, my favorite rose candle of all time ever was a uh, older candle called Roses of Cliff Walk and that was the Yankee Candle of course this has absolutely outdone I'm like Roses of what I've totally put that out of my mind this is the best rose candle they have ever done in my opinion love it the next one I got is I got a vote of, of Home Sweet Home now this one reminds me more of a holiday scent because it's very, the top note is cinnamon. Like there's a very cinnamon you can smell 
You can smell baking spices there. I can't name them. I'm sure Shane could. But this one, I just had to get because I've always loved the way this smelled on cold smell every time uh, Matt and I go into a, uh, a store that even has Yankee Candles. If Home Sweet Home is there, we're always sticking our face in the candle and I've never really gotten a chance to buy one. So I had to pick up a votive of that for 99 cents. But that's a, that's a spicier smell and I love spices. So I'll probably save that one for fall or Christmas time. Um, mango peach salsa. This literally smells like what it says. I actually smell more of the mango smell than I smell of the peach. And it's like a, the peach part is almost like a fresh cut open peach, but not an overly ripe peach. Maybe just, maybe one that you picked up at the grocery store and you shouldn't have cut it open yet because it needed to get just a little bit softer and a little bit sweeter. So, mango peach salsa. That's what it smells. It smells like mango peach salsa. That's all I can say. No, no big heady description there. Um, I got coconut vanilla. They had coconut beach there, which I really liked. And I've normally not been a fan of vanilla scents, but when I smelled this coconut vanilla, I was like, holy cow. This is actually really amazing. It kind of reminds me, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, oh my God, I'm on a diet. I shouldn't even think of this. Oh, it reminds me of coconut cake, the icing. Just a, not a buttercream. It's not a buttercream. It's a light white, not not white frosting from a can, like a homemade white icing with desiccated sugared coconut on top. Not browned coconut. Just if you open up the bag, if you open up the bag of the um, sugar coconut, and you just go ahead and you mix it in with that. You spread it on them. Oh my God. Y'all, I freaking love coconut pie and coconut cake. <laughs> my diet sucks. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? This makes me want coconut cake so bad I can't stand it. That's what it reminds me of. Coconut vanilla reminds me of coconut, coconut cake icing. Monkey goes, I want some. Okay. Now, I got three of the same kind for a certain reason. I got cotton candy. And I am a cotton candy freak. I, even though I'm not supposed to have sugar, if I, the fair is going on right now. And I, if I did not have to pay the price to get in the door just to get some cotton candy, some fresh cotton candy, I would. Because I love cotton candy so much. This really smells, this one doesn't have the open side. This really does smell like cotton candy. Just fresh, pink cotton candy. Just like you think of in your childhood. It reminds me of the fair or a little bit of Main Street in Disney. Um... The reason why I got three of them is because these are apparently extremely popular and selling out everywhere. And they had a basket full of them. And I asked the lady, my, my mother-in-law actually wanted these in votives because she didn't have a wax burner. And I asked the lady, I said, do you have any in votives? And she said, no. She said, we have, except for the tarts, we have been absolutely wiped out of the cotton candy so apparently this is a very popular scent so i just went ahead and got three of them um and i can understand why it's a nice summery smell i like it's summer it's sweet it's it's cotton candy um is this okay these i got one votive and two tarts of the exact same scent. And the reason why this is called sand castles. I don't know if you can see the um, 
the picture, but the picture is literally a sand castle on the beach. This is hands down the best suntan lotion smell I have ever smelled in a candle. I've smelled, uh, what is it, uh, sand and sea or... Uh, I, I burn pink sands a lot, but I think the other one's sand and sun or sand and sea that's popular for a beach scent. This, this is the classic suntan lotion that when you smell it, it takes you back to being a kid and your mom slathering you down with that. I cannot even describe the notes in this. There's definitely some coconut in there. But if you love that classic suntan lotion smell, Sandcastles is literally the best. This is the best. This takes me back. This makes me think of the beach. We just got back from the beach. This makes me think of the beach. This makes me want to go rub my suntan lotion all over me just to sit and smell myself. But I don't have to. I don't have to sit here and smell myself because I can burn one of these suckers. Oh my gosh. And I think that, I don't know if San, this is a Simply Home Yankee Candle. So wherever they sell the Simply Home Yankee brand is where you're gonna find these. I don't know if that's just an outlet, if Simply Home is just for the outlets or if it's one of the ones that they maybe sell in Bed Bath & Beyond or something. I'm not sure about that. This is, gosh y'all, that's why I had to get three of them. It is amazing. Amazing. <sighs> that is summer right there. That is the most summer smell of all the summer smells. Okay, now we are down to the one jar that I bought myself. Now, as you know, I'm a Halloween freak. They had some Halloween scents there. They had some, like, fall. They had some pumpkin ones. And um, they actually had a swirl candle that I wish I would have gotten, but I was uh, trying to save money as well and not go crazy. Uh, much to my husband's chagrin, I was putting as much stuff into the basket as I could. They had, um, these were a dollar a piece, but they had 12 for $8. So that's why I got so many of those because you cannot be, 99 cents a piece or 12 for $8. Hello. Can't beat that with a stick, y'all. The outlet was, the outlet was seriously the Disney World of candle shopping. Like this size, the medium jars, three for 28. They had five of the large housewarming jars, five for 50. I mean, if I would have had more money, yeah. I told uh, my husband, we will be going back for me to get all my holiday candles there. I don't care if it's three and a half hours drive to the beach. I'm going down there. When they start, when there's more fall scents, and uh, they had massive amounts, like shelves and shelves of Christmas scents. It was amazing but i was trying to stay more summery in spring except for this and if you know me you think oh i bet it's witch's brew no it's not um this is a outlet scent so this is not a typical yankee candle um brand well it's a yankee candle but the outlets have their own scent labels and um i had to have this and I will wait until fall to burn it. This is called Halloween Treats. And it's got some candy corn on the label. Now, if you don't know, um, Yankee Candle, for some reason, has done away with their popular candy corn. They had a candle called candy corn. And then last year, hush, what are you fussing about? It's not for you. You want to smell? Hold on. Let me indulge my dog. You want to smell a candle? You're not a beachy person? It's okay. Come here, honey. Come here. Come on. You can help. Come on. You're all right. <laughs> she always gets fussy when I do videos. 
because uh, she's not being paid attention to. <laughs> but anyway, last year, for some reason, they did away with candy corn and brought out one called Sweet Seduction. I want to say it might have been Sensation. I want to say it's Sweet Seduction um, because that was the swirl candle that I almost bought. They had a Forbidden Apple and Sweet Seduction swirl. But I had didn't. It was on the very top shelf behind the counter, and I didn't see it. They had one. I didn't see it until after I'd already um, checked out. But this is candy corn. Halloween treats is candy corn. It smells good, doesn't it? When I opened this up in the store, my husband, I was like, Matt, come here, because the first thing. What always lets us know that Halloween is coming is when like Walmart first puts out the big things full of candy corn and you walk by and that scent hits you in the face. Even if you don't like eating candy corn, which I do, it's very dangerous for me, but even if you don't like eating it, just the smell of it is very good and very nostalgic. This Halloween treats is candy corn under a different name. Now, since it's an outlet candle, it doesn't have the fancy label. It does say Yankee Candle on on the top of the lid. It says Yankee Candle Company, actually. Um, but this, this was made in 2017. Halloween treats. Yeah, this is a 2017 candle, so. I was not leaving the outlet without this candle. So I am really, really looking forward to burning this. I had to save it because it's my favorite, so I had to save it for last. But that's it. That is it for my um, Yankee, I almost said my Halloween haul. It's not Halloween yet. Well, it's Halloween at my house, but I'm talking about it as far as retail goes. But that is my mini haul. If I had more money, it would have been a massive haul. My mother-in-law got in trouble. She spent a lot more money there than I did, but they had so many. She actually did go ahead and get herself a wax warmer just because of the cotton candy tart. So there you have it. Very popular. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will put a link to the candle enthusiast down below if you are a candle person. He is amazing. And even if you're like, well, I, can't, I like candles, but I don't really think that much about them. He will make you rethink scent like there was before i started this is a little plug for his channel seriously because he's amazing before i started watching him i would go and i'd pick up and i'd be like oh i don't like that and i'd put it down and after watching him and he learned he breaks things down and it's made me learn to give things that i normally would have put down like the coconut vanilla I normally would have been like, oh, vanilla. I'd look at the label and not even smell it because it had vanilla in it. But I love this. Um, he'll make you rethink scent and how many layers of scent there are, not just in candles, but in other things. I went out to smell a, an iris in my yard, and it was this grape, light grape, Kool-Aid grape. I don't know. It made me think of different it scent is nostalgia and when we smell things it takes you to certain places and i have really started giving things another look i have expanded normally i used to just like spicy scent or green scents for christmas like the evergreens um but now i have really seriously expanded what i'm uh, willing to give a shot because I have learned how to smell better if that <laughs> That just sounds funny, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed my mini haul Hey, if you're a Yankee Candle person or if you're just a candle person if you like the Bath and Body Works candles or whatever Go down below leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite scents are and I will see you next week Take care of each other, take care of yourself, and I'll see you. Goodbye.